How's it everyone? This is Lolkahol and in today's video we're going to be crafting an interesting helmet that's pretty good for a lot of different builds. Primarily, I think Herald builds use it, ignore the enchant on this one, but the modifiers we're going to be looking for are the socketed gems deal 30% more elemental damage that comes from Essence of Horror, and then we're looking for hypothermia and then also base crit for spells, which also comes from the Shaper Influence. Now, something interesting to note is that this is an item level 83 helmet, and I'm deliberately not using item level 84 because I want to explain an interesting concept a bit later in the video. And also because I didn't notice that I needed I-84 for tier one, and then I bought this, and this has Warlord Influence, and yep. <laughs> anyway, so to get started, we're just gonna hit this with these Essences of Horror, and it's about a 1 in 67 chance to hit tier 1 hypothermia. So here we've hit tier 3 hypothermia. And we want, I think, I think let's go for tier 1, which is a 1 in 67. And then we've got about a 20% chance to get an open suffix. And there's the crit mod that I was talking about. So we've got about, yeah, a 1 in 67 chance to get tier 1 hypothermia. And then a 20% chance to get an open suffix when we hit that. Tier, let me take off this helmet. And we hit a suffix. Let's just see if we can annul off that. Okay. So what I was getting at is once we hit tier 1 hypothermia, we have essentially a 50% chance of getting an open suffix. If you add up the chance to roll an open suffix plus the chance to annul, it's about a 46% chance. So we've hit tier two. And I think, okay, for the sake of the video, I think this is something interesting that I can show you. Something interesting. So in order to get the crit mod, which we can only get tier two of, we're going to head over to our crafting bench. We're going to lock suffixes. And now mind you, if you can get an I-85 helmet or an I-84 plus helmet like this, go for it. But blizzard crowns are a bit harder to get or very, very, very expensive. But okay, we're going to go for that crit mod. And in order to get that, we are going to reforge crit. This 100% guarantees that mod. We're either going to get tier three or tier two. We got tier three and we filled up our prefixes because this is hmm, I could do a reforge keeping suffixes but because this is tier two hypothermia and tier three crit chance I'm actually inclined to just keep going and see if we can I mean I could try for an annul but Let's just see what the annul does. Okay, the annul has decided. We keep going. We keep going. Let's try to get that hypothermia. And of course, once again, if you're doing this yourself, you can stop far before I do and get something good. Rip. The difference between... 90% and 100% is many, 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 many exalts. So don't feel like this is a good example. Okay. Ooh. All right. And we got very lucky. So here we have hit an open suffix, which is about a 20% chance of that happening. I actually, I actually have reforged keeping suffixes. This will free up our prefixes so we don't have to go for the YOLO or null. And when our suffixes are this perfect, yeah, I'm not going to go for that. So reforge keeping suffixes. And I'm an idiot because I didn't craft on something first. Okay, lesson. Quick, quick lesson time, everybody. If you're going to reforge keeping suffixes, first craft on a third suffix before you reforge. Otherwise, it can fill in. It can fill it in. And I'm, uh, I become a complete noob when I'm 
talking and playing. Ah, oh, God, lessons, lessons, learn from my mistakes. Let's try and all that off. Okay, we're so good. We're so good. Uh, that was a that was a 25x mistake. Just that. That alone, 25x rip on average. Oh, I feel like such an idiot. I feel like an idiot. But we keep going. We don't give up. We learn from mistakes. Craft on a suffix. Then reforge keeping suffixes. Oh, no. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. All right. Well, see you in a bit. We're going to go buy some more essences of horror. We're back. I'm still reeling from that stupid mistake. But we will prevail. These things are just so damn expensive. I don't know if I mentioned it, but these are about three for one X and it's a one in 67 chance. And then you have to go for the annul 80% of the time. So I might actually stick with tier two hypothermia if we hit it, because there are more steps to this that are going to be unpleasant. Oh, damn. Why don't we hit that? Aha. Okay. We hit hypothermia. We hit an open suffix. We hit an open prefix. I'm sticking with this. I'm happy. You win this round game. But we're going to do something interesting now. So, suffixes cannot be changed. Reforge crit. Again, this guarantees us our crit. And we hit two. Okay. So this is actually the highest tier that we can get on this. However, however, there are some shenanigans we can do. And in order to do that, we're going to go have to farm up some stuff in Harvest. So see you in a sec. All right. So next plan. And this is going to seem a bit ridiculous, but, 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 but. I feel like this is something that's, it's worth teaching. So we can force on an influence modifier on the prefixes by reforging cold. This is gonna give us cold damage to spells. And we hit tier three, which is, it's not necessarily ideal, but I'm gonna go ahead with this. Most people use Maven's orbs to take a mod from tier one to tier zero. However, in some cases, it can be useful to use it to get a mod from tier two to tier one. Now, if you're doing this yourself, I wouldn't necessarily go for this. But in the case of this video and doing it for some kind of education, I'm going to go for this Maven Orb. And what we're hoping to hit here is preferably elevating that socketed spells have crit chance. But also if we hit the hypothermia, that'd be pretty good. The only bad outcome here is if we remove the hypothermia. So here goes. And this is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. So what we can do now is actually go over to our crafting bench, do it again. I mean, if that was tier one hypothermia to start with, it would have been excellent because then we would have had tier zero hypothermia. But what we can do now is do it again. And this time I'm going to go for tier one cold damage to spells. So here we hit tier two. I think we try again because I got quite a lot of quite a lot of reforged colds. Hopefully we don't fill up our prefixes. And there we hit tier three again. And the reason now I am going for tier one cold is that we're going to Maven Orbit again. And if we have tier one, maybe we can raise that to tier zero. And we keep hitting tier three, which is very fun. And reforge cold. And there we hit tier two. Now, do we try again? Okay, we hit tier two again. I'm gonna try one more time. If we hit tier two, I'm just gonna YOLO for that Maven.
We hit tier three. I'm gonna try to get tier two. Rip. Starting to wonder if we. Okay. I'm just gonna go for it. So, what we can hit here is we can get that crit chance to tier one. We can elevate hypothermia, or we could elevate the cold damage to spells, which would be eh, whatever. But here goes. We removed hypothermia. And we elevated cold damage to spells. So now we crawl into bed and cry because now we're deleting just mounds of exalts because of bad luck. Again, if you're doing this yourself, I highly recommend using an item level 84 base, but I'm just showing this on the eye level 83 because I couldn't find an eye 84. And also, I'm kind of curious about the oh about the whole mavening for tier three for tier one okay let's try ah uh, wait yes we are we are good at the video game that was very lucky let's go find a reforge crit and try again okay we're back so suffixes cannot be changed and now reforge crit we're hoping for tier 2. It's the highest mod we can get. We hit tier 1. Take off the helmet. And... So we hit finally hit tier 1 cold damage to spells. And now we need to get a Maven's Orb. Essentially, the point of these Maven's Orbs is... Is it cheaper to try and annul off that spell crit? And if we fail, try again from the beginning? Or is it cheaper to attempt the Maven's Orb to improve the tier of that modifier multiple times <laughs> till it's where we want. And hopefully I have those numbers by the time this video comes out and I will link it in the description, but we're gonna hit this. Hopefully we elevate the crit. We did. So now what we can do is do that again. Suffixes cannot be changed. And reforge cold. And we hit tier one. No, we hit tier two. Let's see if we can either push up that hypothermia or the spell crit. And we we elevated the hypothermia. So this is super duper nice at this point. And we could, what we could do is go again and try and elevate the crit chance. However, at this point, what's interesting is that we could remove the crit and elevate, quote unquote, elevate the hypothermia. However, nothing will change. It'll just remove the spell crit and then We've essentially spent 5x on an Anul. We could also remove the Hypothermia and elevate the Spell Crit, which would be very sad. I think this is pretty good. Again, we could get that Spell Crit, I believe, to Tier 1, even though this is an I-83 base and we need I-84 for Tier 1. But for now, we're going to leave it these suffixes as is. I'm pretty happy with this. And then the next step is going to be to get the prefixes. So in order to finish off these prefixes, it depends what you want. I'm going to be going for cold damage to spells. And to do that, we're just going to lock suffixes, reforge cold and get it first time because we're cool. And then look, if you wanted to go all in on this, you could now go for another Maven's Orb and try and elevate the crit. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to lock suffixes and then go for Ashling. And when we do Ashling, we're hoping to unveil maybe something like AoE gems. All right, going for the Ashling. I've had terrible, terrible, terrible luck with Ashlings lately. So let's hope this is different. Let's see what we get. Please, please, please. Yay, we did it. We did it. Thank you. All right. So now we need to block something before unveiling. Oh, it's on my head. And I think it's possible to unveil this. And I don't want this. I believe it is possible. So let's go ahead and unveil and looking for AoE gems. Projectile gems. I mean... Maybe not the best, but 
I feel like this is a pretty juicy little helmet. And we could go ahead and craft on AoE gems like that. Or we could craft on life or what have you. There's a lot of different things we could do on this to finish off. It depends on the exact build that's going to be using this. Again, this was inspired by Tychus. I actually am not playing this build. So perhaps projectile gems isn't even ideal. Maybe AoE gems is the best. But here's the final product. <laughs> this is a an elevated hypothermia, more elemental damage, socketed projectile gems. I think maybe it's worthless. Maybe, but maybe not. Maybe some build uses this with tier two crit strike chance because, well, we can. And then some other stuff. So before we go, we're going to do the usual price checky thing. So these helmets are kind of hard to price check because, well, the only ones that exist are the properly completed ones. These ones have concentrated effect as a prefix, which is very hard to get. But yeah, you can see these are all slightly different. This one actually has projectile gems. So maybe this would be good for something like Winter Orb, I think. This one is very similar to mine except it has the tier one crit strike chance and what does it have instead it has conk effect okay conk effect makes it quite a bit more valuable but we can look at maybe let's just look at tier 16 hypothermia let's see and we spent i think oh my goodness we spent about 75x on this helmet at this point so I mean, this one is not elevated, but this is an example of the difference between my helmet costing 80x to make, and maybe I could sell it for 100x, and something that is probably like 80% as good, maybe even if it's like 70% as good, and it's a tenth of the price. So yeah, again, when you're going for something really good, firstly, remember to get a base with the correct item level, and also remember to block suffixes before you do reforge keep suffixes. But then also remember to look at the trade site and see what you can see. This one has very nice mods, very nice mods. This one has hypothermia, very similar to mine. This one is pretty similar, almost identical, except it doesn't have the projectiles and it doesn't have elevated hypothermia. And then immediately there's just this huge jump from this to these kind of borderline mirror tier ones but that's going to be it for this video if you'd like to join the community there is a link for my discord in the description also link for my twitch and if you super love the channel there's a link for my patreon where you can subscribe to get little perks like early access to new videos and private discord channels and maybe even little mini private streams soon have a wonderful day everyone stay safe and i will catch you in the next video bye bye Exile, you're making me nervous.